What's going on guys? Today I wanted to bring you a video that's slightly different from the deck profiles that I've been putting out recently and that's going to be a pack opening of Shadow Spectres which is one of the sets that contains a lot of really good and cool cards from Vegas format and hat format. Uh, specifically and we're gonna see if we can pull some of those this set is over 10 years old it's not necessarily the hardest pack to find but it's definitely not just out there available for uh, like on the shelves of stores still and another cool thing about this pack specifically that I'm gonna be opening is these are European print packs so the way you know that is if you go and look at the back here uh, if my camera will focus, you can see that the distributor is in United Kingdom. And as you can see, it's also English first edition. So rather than being a foreign pack that, you know, would be the European print, these are English American or English European print. Uh, so to me, the foiling on these cards will look so much better. A lot of times European print uh, cards are a bit darker the borders for commons might be a little more gray if you guys have seen you know american print cards and stuff which i'm sure you have if you're watching this video then hopefully you'll see a difference and hopefully we'll pull something cool i will say i opened a couple of these just to make sure they weren't scaled or anything and i did pull uh an ultra and a couple other hollows so we are gonna hope to pull you know some supers maybe a secret maybe if we're even really lucky an ulti or ghost and compared to normal packs nowadays if you guys weren't around for when this pack was available there weren't guaranteed foils in every pack so a normal booster box from this era you would get probably anywhere from four to six super rares in a box two ultra rares one secret rare and then the possibility for an ulti or ghost though that's very unlikely in a lot of cases um but we're gonna see what we can do hopefully pull some non-guaranteeds and these also still had rares in them so that is pretty cool there's also a really nice pack trick for this set specifically so uh i'll go over what that is as we get started with this so you know let's get right into it uh, a little difficult to open on this first pack, but here we are. So what the pack trick for this set is, is starting from the front, you take the fourth, fifth, and sixth card. And here there should be some commons. So let's just look at them real quick. Oh, we pulled both right in a row. That's kind of cool. Bujingi Centipede. Uh, sadly, they don't really play this in the Bujin deck currently, but I could see it almost being a one of. It is a pretty nifty, cool card. All right, so what this pack trick is, is this will either be a common or a rare. If this is a rare, it means this is a guaranteed foil. If this is a common and this is a rare, this could just be a common or it has the chance to be a, a hollow. So let's just flip this one. Oh, it's a rare. So given that, it, this should be a hollow, so this should be a common, which it is. And just to show off the rare, this is Bujingi Crow. I love the artwork of this card. I think it's so cool. Again, sadly, not really one they play, but this should be a foil. Oh, which it is. Noble Knight Boars. Hopefully you guys can tell how dark these are and they look really, really nice. Nice. So we did get a non-guaranteed foil in that, um, or I guess a foil in general because none were guaranteed at this time for the first pack too. So, you know, there's eight packs total or there were, so there's seven left. We would hope for maybe one more foil at this point maybe two if we're lucky again we'll do the pack trick and then i'll show off the commons and we'll see what it is so again four five and six and these should just be commons jangshi a good card for ghost tricks and ghost trick spirits the raccoons are in this and obviously people who play modern formats dragon link 
hopefully these cards will one day come to you know more than just one copy playable but i see why they aren't all right so this is a common so this will probably be a rare and then this has the chance to be a foil but it's less likely vampire duke and oh it was a hollow wow look at that two for two that's the the purples and blues on european print cards look so nice nice okay i'll put that up there moving on to the next pack huh good good start makes me think you know i don't want to get hope that we could pull something crazy Spectre, great looking card, great looking card. Another black dragon. Okay. And here we go. Just the common. So again, this should be a rare, and then this has the chance of a foil. Swarm of crows. And, oh wow, another one. That's insane. Three for three, Kidmodo Dragon. All right. We got, what is this, five packs left. Wow. Really, really crazy to pull this many foils again because they it's not a super or a hollow in every pack. So the fact that this is happening right now is is honestly just crazy. These weren't scaled or, you know, look through or anything. So here we go. Okay, just the common. The rare. Swords at Dawn. And Mythic Water Dragon. Yeah, the, the Mythic Dragons are in here. So uh, Water Dragon and Tree Dragon. Obviously pretty powerful, strong cards for this era of the game. Uh, whether you're playing like Vegas format or hat format. Really, really good cards. Really complicated deck. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Mythic Ruler deck profile, you should definitely do that. These, Ghost Trick Mansion. And let's see. Just the common. Rare. Very nice artwork on these. And... Oh, White Dragon. Nothing crazy. Like I said, three for three in those first ones. I don't know if we can do better than that. Let's see. Oh, there's the Tree Dragon. Hopefully you guys can tell the difference in the European ones. Like, to me, these are so dark right now. It, maybe my lighting is making them look a bit brighter. But for the most part, oh, dropping stuff. These are very dark. Common, okay. Oh, Tokabum. There are some good rares in this set too that I'm looking for. For example, the raccoons, um, the, the Xyz monster would be a good one. Oh, another white dragon. Only two packs remain. You know, can we get another foil? Like I said, not guaranteed. It would be really cool if we did. If not, you know, it's unfortunate that the beginning of this opening started so strong just for it to end on so far nothing else. Or maybe we'll get rewarded and pull a secret rare, an ulti. Who knows? Okay, nothing crazy to show off in the commons. Spectre, so again, no guaranteed foil in this pack. Mecha Phantom Beast Cal Griffin. Pretty cool. And Tantan. Last pack. Can we get anything cool to round off this video? And uh, one other thing, if these videos do well... And you know you guys are sharing them around. I do have some more European 
print packs from this era um a bunch of different cool really good sets and i would love to open them on the channel and show you guys some more of this you know nostalgia that a lot of people you know that you might not have been around when this pack was in stores or in general uh if you're getting into hat format and vegas format maybe you'll enjoy watching some of these openings um, if you do want to see those, let me know in the comment section and make sure you're subscribed and liking these videos and sharing them with friends. And, you know, hopefully we can open more of this. Ratetsu. Melisferous Fork. Numbers Overlay Boost. Another White Dragon. Good common. Ooh, another Water Dragon. Another good common. Bujingi. Ibis, Ibis, cool, yeah, okay, moment of truth here, first one, oof, common, so no guaranteed, no guaranteed, second one, oh, nice, I was just talking about this, number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sendayu, really, really good card for the raccoon strategy, along with, there's a bunch of other cool decks that can play this, really happy even for just a rare i'm glad to pull that i'll definitely be throwing that in another one of my 2014 decks and lastly just a common there okay so that's unfortunate but at least we got a good rare that like i said very playable and just to show these off again the supers we managed to pull kidmodo dragon Vampire Takeover, and Noble Knight Boars. Really good stuff there. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely let me know in the comments section. Like I said, I do want to open more of this. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.